Hey, howdy, hey, Nerd Fantastic. Today is Tuesday. I'm wearing blue because I wanted to blend in with the background, or because I'm actually Grover. Check it out. Near far. I've been watching Sesame Street. Yesterday, I saw the guy that plays Leonard on Sesame Street. It was pretty crazy. Anyways, how are you guys? I hope that you're all fantastic. Most of you, I would assume, are fantastic or have been killed by Vlog Smoothie because I haven't seen you in a video, so... If you have been killed, I'm sorry that I didn't attend your funeral. If you haven't been killed, good. Watch out for Vlog Smoothie because they're evil vampire witch communists. So, um, classes are going pretty good for me. We started up again this semester, and uh, I'm taking, like, more classes than last time. Uh, so it's kind of crazy. Um, there's no sexy Jenna this time. I'm so bummed out. Uh, so this time I have no interesting women in my class, so I guess I'll just focus on learning, <laughs> which is terrible. What a terrible thing to happen. So, there's that. Um, I finished The Fault in Our Stars. I feel the need to show you, in case you've never heard of this. Have you heard of this book, Carmen? It's, it's a book by this guy named John Green. Have you ever heard of John Green? Do you know who John Green is? He's apparently an author. He looks like that. He signs his name like this. John Green. Um, it was a really good book. I really liked it. There were, like, lots of things that in it were just fantastic in it, so... Most of them were words. Getting says a book without pictures, so... Yeah. I really like craisins. I'm a crazy for craisins. I crave some craisins. I would be so good at commercials on TV. Can't you tell? Awesome. Um, I got this weird, like, Conan O'Brien thing in my hair today. Because I'm excited to watch Conan tonight because Julia Noons is on it. And I like Julia Noons. But uh, that doesn't make sense because I should have done like Julia Noons hair if I do hair to celebrate people that I like. I like George Washington, so tomorrow I'm going to wear a powdered wig. Um, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm just rambling on and on and on. We've been having crazy weather in Ohio. Remember when I showed you it was snowing? It's not snowing anymore. Instead it's like 90 bajillion mile an hour winds and like rain and... It's been, like, terrible weather. So, it's just, like, weird. Like, I don't ever want to go outside because the weather's so bad. I went to a coffee shop today. Um, contrary to what you've been told, Carmen, it's not called the cof the lima bean. It's just a coffee shop. And then I came home and I smelled like coffee, and I was like, that's kind of gross. Um, other things I did today, I wrote a thingy for school, so that's good. And then I beat Duke Nukem Forever, which is... Ugh, in the words of the angry video game, I would rather have a buffalo take a diarrhea dump in my ear than ever play that game again. It is a desecration of video games. Remember how much fun it is in a first person shooter to have a water level where you swim underwater and fight a boss? No, you don't remember that. You know why? Because it's stupid. It's the worst idea ever, but they included it in this game. They also let Duke Nukem pick up turds out of toilets and throw them against the wall. I want to do that to the people who made this game. I want to go to their house and throw turds on their walls. Because that's what they did. They put a turd on my PlayStation. End of rant. So let's talk about happier things. Bunny rabbits. <laughs> I have a Tumblr now, so I can see pictures of things. What I find most interesting is that I don't follow that many people, but of the people I do follow, which people reblog the same things that other people have reblogged? That's just interesting to me to see what people are seeing and stuff like that. I don't know how to use Tumblr, so I haven't really been on it, but um, it's alright so far. Uh, today's the State of the Union address, but I don't usually watch that because it's too much of like talk, 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 clap, 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 talk, 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 clap, clap, clap. And I'm just not down with that. I had all rhymed! I'm so awesome. Did I mention that I blend in with the wall? You can't see me! Um... Oh, I know. Here's a question of the week in this book. Terminally ill Hazel Grace. That's not a spoiler because it's in the thing that's over here, the description. She mentions that uh, there's a long-running debate about the meaning of suffering in life. And, she's, and, you know, like some people say that suffering is necessary to experience joy. And she says that's like kind of like saying that if you have never eaten broccoli, you won't appreciate the taste of chocolate. And she's saying that's absurd because chocolate's delicious. And you would know it was delicious even if you've never suffered through broccoli. So if you have the chance and want something fun to talk about, let's talk about that. What is the meaning of suffering? Why is suffering necessary? Why do we have it? And do you have to have suffering to have joy? Or can joy be non-sufferable? 
I don't know if that made sense, but my time is now up. Keep on rocking in the free world. Carmen, I'm sorry I didn't talk about birds. I really wanted to talk about birds because then I was going to go, a bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. Is it a bird, bird, bird? Bird is the word. Is it a have you heard about the bird? Is it a bird, bird, bird? Bird is the word. Aren't you glad I didn't do that because that would have been so annoying. Why did I just dance like a robot?